the judgment of humanity. Fear God and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come, and worship Him that made heaven and earth, the sea and the fountains of waters. Revelation 14, 7 How would Jesus know who to take to heaven with Him when He returns if there wasn't a judgment before He came back again? I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garments were white as snow, and the hair of his head was like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and its wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him. And ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, the books were opened, says Daniel in chapter 7. And this is one artist's concept of the judgment scene. One Christian writer puts it like this. Thus were presented to the prophet's vision the great and solemn day when the characters and lives of men should pass in review before the judge of all the earth, and to every man should be rendered according to his works. The Ancient of Days is God the Father, says the psalmist. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever be you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God, in Psalms 90 verse 2. It is He, the source of all being, the fountain of all law, that is to preside in the judgment, and the holy angels as ministers and witnesses, in number ten thousand times ten thousand, attend His great tribunal. And behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought Him near before Him, and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, writes Daniel the prophet. The coming of Christ here described is not the second coming to earth. He comes to the Ancient of Days in heaven to receive dominion and glory and a kingdom, which will be given him at the close of his work as mediator. Judgment must begin at the house of God, and if it first begins at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? For we shall stand before the judgment seat of Christ. The books of record in heaven, in which the names and the deeds of men are registered, are to determine the decisions of the judgment. Says the prophet Daniel, the judgment was set and the books were opened. John the Revelator, describing the same scene, adds, Another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to to their works. The Book of Life contains the name of all who have ever entered the service of God. Jesus bade his disciples, Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Paul speaks of his faithful fellow workers whose names are in the Book of Life. Daniel, looking down to a time of trouble such as never was, declares that God's people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found in the book. And the revelator says that those only shall enter the city of God whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. A book of remembrance is written before God in which are recorded the good deeds of them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Their words of faith, their acts of love, are registered in heaven. Nehemiah refers to this when he says, Remember me, 
O my God, and wipe not my good deeds that I have done for the house of God. In the book of God's remembrance, every deed of righteousness is immortalized. Jesus will appear as their advocate to plead in their behalf before God. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, writes John. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever lives to make intercession for them. Jesus Christ hasn't lost a case. That's the advocate I need. When the work of the judgment closes, the destiny of all will be decided for life or for death. The time to prepare is ended a short time before the appearing of the Lord in the clouds of heaven. Christ in the Revelation, looking forward to that time, declares, evil people will keep on being evil, but good people will keep on being and doing what is right. And God's people will always be holy. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Are you ready now for Jesus' soon return? Have you seen Earth's used by date yet? It's worth a look. God bless you, friend.